Welcome back to Let's Play Outward. I forgot to do inventory management. Oh boy. I don't know what that voice was. I guess I can store those warm potions now, too. If I've got varnish, I'll take those over rags, but... Do, 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 inventory management. What did it take for the soup? No, oh, it's literally just water and bones. Cool. Okay, Let's store those, store that. Store most of that. Throw the money away. No reason not to have the greasy fern on me in case I find a cheapo. Oh, I forgot to store away the thrice rot halberd. Let's move potions back where they belong. Okay, so last time we acquired the Thrice Rot Halberd and some other stuff. Um, in fact, if I move more potions out of there, I can actually have my entire outfit in here. Aha! Um, yeah, we got the Thrice Rot Halberd, we got Merton's Fire Poker, we bought the Vintage Hammer, I think was last time, but Red. Now, we didn't get the Red Lady's Dagger, but we did get the Ornate Bone Shield. Anyway, um... Actually, I need to go buy Cold Cure Tea. And... I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of Tainted, honestly without going all the way to Sorobor, which costs so much time, money, ugh. So I'm pretty sure a Purity Potion, or whatever the cheaper one is, is hard to make. Oh, Sanctifier Potion, there we go. Never mind. Um, I will buy some cool potions as well. Um, and the varnish, why not? Might as well prep for future endeavors. Okay. There's a reason I'm being so cautious and preparatory, because we're going to a very dangerous place today. Pop the Sanctifier Potion, drink the Soothing Tea, go sleep for a bit. I think it's the routines that are cozy about this game. case. Uh, oh crap, we also need more arrows. So I can't store my money away just yet. And the cold is still receding. Cool. Buy two more stacks of arrows. There we go. Is there anything else I wanted to make? No. No. 
Oh, that's why I want to get very wine for varnish. Duh. there's anything else I particularly need. Oh, I see. Ethereal varnish is cheap to make. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, my food and existing potions do it, and I can buy more potions. It's not a big deal. But yeah, we're kind of doing... Two big things, and then one hopefully less big thing here in Enmercar, and then we'll see how much time we've got left after that, or how long we've been in general, I guess. Um, no source of water in the house, but some bread of the wild that respawns, apparently. Cool. Uh, store the Astral Potions. Elemental Immunity Potion. I only have four Great Life Potions. Oof! Um, one Emerald. I need to keep one on me. That. Okay. Since I did just sleep the day away, let's check for a restock at the Alchemist. See, I know this is a good move speed, it just feels slow because I'm used to sprinting everywhere. Mm, ooh, yes, there was a restock. Cool. I don't know how many gravel beetles I have, so I'll just grab that lot. And no greasy ferns. Maybe the items restock individually. That would make sense. Um, I should also go make sure, you know, I refill my water. money on me so I will go ahead and buy the runes even if I'm not going to use them a ton I may use them at some point I do feel like with the DLC like I don't know maybe Maybe even, like, beating the story should get you another breakthrough point. Then again, that would kind of incentivize rushing the story on future playthroughs. Uh, alchemy is right here. Oh, I have no gravel beetles. Oops. Well, I can still make a bunch of great life potions. of tea, but you know what? It's fine. We're gonna be looting. So today we are going 
what direction? Oh, we're kind of circling around the Cabal of Wind Temple, where we got the Thrice Rot Halberd. Actually, I should have from you too. Oh well. Wow. Well, you don't have anything I need. Sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained today. I don't know what's with me. Also, I didn't record any of this yesterday, so that's a little weird. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some of that, which, for the stamina buff. Because we're going west, like we're going to this ruined settlement and then going into this valley, basically. And people who know this map know what that means. This is gonna be horrifying. Actually, yeah, let's just throw on the travel clothes for now. Yeah, this is probably going to be the biggest, like, challenge I can actively do right now. Without, like, getting very specific gear setups. And that's... I'm making a big assumption that I can do it. following the road until it branches south. <sighs> Even in the more generic areas like Enmer Car, this game is very vibrant and pretty. Like, I wish more developers would make this kind of game. Where, you know, the world is still dangerous, but that doesn't mean it can't be pretty. Uh, kind of like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is very good about that. I'm interested in this tent. Travel clothes, right. I think I have a regular life potion on me. Jerky too, actually. I figure the tent might have, like, Warn Hunter's Cabin. It might have, um, a chest inside. Yeah, unfortunately, technically... The oh, the hello. That's why they were all outside. Because there's a friggin' ghost in here. Toast. Explorer lantern. Lucrative junk pile. Spiritual varnish, fire varnish. Three mana stones. Worker's corpse. Endurance potion, mist potions. Soothing tea. Firestone. Very nice. Okay. Very nice is an exaggeration. Very nice is an expensive weapon like a freaking warbow. But 
As far as supplies go, I mean, varnishes are very nice. Okay. Or do I need to go circle around to the temple and then go west? It doesn't look right. Maybe I'm just not there yet. Here we go. Yeah, like this game gets it right. Like there's color other than brown, dark green, and gray, even in the forest, because you know there's other plants and creatures that stick out and stuff like that. Oh, I think it spawned. Okay. Let me deal with this Coral Horn Alpha first. Just prevent issues. Put my combat gear so that though for those who love to watch me suffer in the audience is a royal manticore and the royal manticore has a chance of spawning every week and it drops of course a powerful weapon so let's get buffed up discipline I don't need elemental resistance actually Warrior. Is that fire varnish? Bread of the Wild. Bouillon de Predator. I feel like I should have brought more, but this is what we've got. Let's do this shit. Well, first I want to... Attempt to inflict confusion? I appreciate the screen shake hit marker. Ugh. Okay, not getting confusion. Ooh, I landed the great poison on him though. He actually has very little impact resistance, he just has a lot of impact, it looks like. That sounds like nonsense, but mechanically, it, it makes sense. <laughs> Ooh. He's burning! He's got double dots. Okay. Wait, chimeras are horrors. I should have used poison. Or, no, electricity. Oh, I was very lucky my shield was still up there. God, he does like those weird tracer shots. Messes me up. Because they, I think they're the actual projectiles. Oh my god! 
We just killed the Royal Manticore, and for our trouble we get the Star Child Claymore. The Dawnweaver's knowledge showed us the way. It came from the stars, and to the stars we shall follow. So being a Claymore, obviously it's a two-handed weapon. 26 physical, 26 electric damage. Ridiculous amount of damage and impact, especially for that attack speed. Isn't the Star Child Claymore like the... No, that's, I'm thinking of Star Fury from Dragon Age. <sighs> that was... I didn't know what to expect. But we're not out of the woods yet. Because he has a lair. And there's another unique item in there. One that's going to be extremely nice for me. Is that a dead manticore? It's a small manticore. Don't mess with that Coral Horn Elder, because I don't need to. So the Royal Manticore's Lair... Well, it's a proper dungeon, apparently. Uh, if you're coming in here, even if the Manticore didn't spawn, make sure you bring a large emerald if you're hunting down the unique item in here. And yeah, there are other manticores in here. Because Elot hates me. I'm not insinuating a connection between Elot and manticores, it's just a joke about, you know, God hates me. Elot hates me because Elot is the main god. It has been a god for longer. I'd really like to get this confusion inflicted. Clutch timing there. Um, I can't fall off that ledge, which is kind of hilarious that he did. I guess enemies have different collision detectors. are not as horrifying as I thought. Actually, that's alpha meat. I need that for sandwiches. Obviously, I'm still going to be very careful around them, because they do inflict a nasty poison, and I only had one antidote. Miner's omelet. Uh, filling omelet is a good way to use common mushrooms to cook into a decent dish. Interesting. That kind of tells us the recipe. Though not the proportions. Yeah, for some reason, the troglodytes live together with manticores. I don't know if it's like... Ah! I don't know if it's like... You know... Kobolds living with dragons. Or if it's more of a... Well, I guess... It is still just a... Wor uh, free worker thing for the dragons, too. Um, I know you don't want to come to me. That's the only way this is gonna happen. I guess I just gotta be... Ah, I 
You jerk. Drop me an antidote. I see how it is. I was like, wait, there was something big I picked up. I gotta move my freaking notebook. The page is like all torn and frayed. And... No, wait, that's a song. Um, it was like kind of the corner was sticking up. There's that statue that's in a, all the other troglodyte caves. There's a lot of blood. So give them blood. Blood. Gallons of the stuff. Give them all that they can drink and it will never be enough. Corpus Corpse. That's decent for stamina. Though, using something that's fairly ex well, I, I don't know. The predator bones are common enough that it's not really an expensive food, huh? Hello. Yeah, remember how in the other troglodyte cave over in um, the Chersonese there were doors that required gems to open? Yeah, that's a common trick among troglodytes. That's why we need a large emerald. is so weird because it's the royal manticore's lair it's guarded by the royal manticore and alpha coral horns but then most of the cave is populated by troglodytes it's telling me make antidotes yourself asshole which fair A bunch of star mushrooms, medium ruby. Here we go. Yeah, large emerald. You know, fairly costly. Zorn's hunting backpack. A backpack of 85 weight. Minus 10% stamina cost. Trophy laden bag of the great hunter Zorn, who used it to trek across vast distances. So, we have an upgraded backpack, 10 more carry weight, 10% stamina usage buff, and that's, I think that's all we really care about here. Let me double check. Oh, there is an ornate chest. really need anything. From ornate chests, though. I'm looking at the drop tables for chests because it there's actually it's surprisingly detailed I mean I can get marble equipment 
arcane robe. Can I buy that from anywhere? I can buy it in Levant, so if I'm going back there, I might as well buy the frickin' whatever. And tumor stuff. Okay. Well, that's really all we care about in here. Since at this point we are just unique hunting. Uh, well, mm. No, because there's no, like, logical linear progression here. Actually, I think the friggin' chest is hidden behind... No, that's a trog chest. Yeah, I don't care about trog chests. So I don't need to sack a ruby. Okay, so that's 30 minutes, two items... We can definitely get the other item, which is located in another dungeon. Um, once I get out, I'll see precisely how far that is. I may still stop off at Berg to drop some stuff off. Because it's dropped by another unique enemy variant. But it's another... It's an enemy class? That's... Not a big danger to me. So I'm not super concerned. Alright, remember to hug this wall so I don't get skewered. Arrows. Oh yeah, let's take a peek at this clay. Oh! So, the weapon design in this game is so cool. Oh my, this isn't a claymore, this is a friggin' katana. Like, the way the blade curves, um, the very thin blade. I guess it's not actually a thin blade, but it's, like, not a wide blade. Oh, that is a cool weapon, though. Unless the ornate chest is actually hidden around here, guarded by the manticore? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. I, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm like... Dah! Frickin'... That actually... That, I don't play up surprise like that. Oh, there's another manticore. Need to be very careful of the other manticore. Why don't you see manticores in more games? They are so cool. Like, they didn't even have to really tweak the traditional design of a manticore to fit this game, which is really cool. Oh, crap, blood mushrooms. Oh, that just takes me back here. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna go fight out of my way to go fight that other manticore. Um, yeah, I hope you don't mind that I'm looking stuff up. Like, this is typically just how I play post games. Just looking up the content so I'm not floundering around. Just trying to see what actually exists. I guess this is how I treat, like, even just the point of games where it opens up. Did I search you already? Yes. Um, so that I 
I don't want to miss out on stuff. Take it easy, take it slow, that's what I know. I found my phone in a pool in New Orleans. I found the love of my life, if you know what I mean. And I'll be back on your sofa in a bottle in a couple of weeks. Is Ben Folds obscure? I feel like that was like a moderately obscure reference. Although it was a hit song of his. It's still freaking weird that one, they made the comic strip Over the Hedge into a kids movie. And two, they had Ben Folds do the soundtrack. <laughs> Just such a strange series of decisions went into that strange, strange existence of a movie. Like, and the weirdest thing is, okay, so I'm going to the hives. It's probably better for me to stop in it. No, 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 I've got carry weight now. And it, weirdly, it, the movie still kind of carried the spirit of the comic strip in, like, just constantly making fun of, like, basically white suburbanite quote-unquote culture. Uh, maybe I'm, like, misremembering it because I have not watched it since I was a kid. But, like, thinking back on it, at least the version of it I remember, because, let's be real, that's a more accurate way to talk about things you watched years ago, was actually okay. So, for those who don't know what the hey I'm talking about, Over the Hedge was, like, a comic strip that was, you know, it starred talking animals, but it wasn't really intended for kids. It wasn't, like, dirty or anything. It was just, um, like, animals local to an area just kind of being on the outside looking in at, like, suburban families. Because the suburbs, at least in the movie, the suburbs were developed around them while they were hibernating. Um, and it was a very cynical thing for a, like, three, four panel comic strip in newspapers. And, like... In the early or mid 2000s, um, I think it was actually a DreamWorks movie. Which. You know what? Actually, that makes sense because DreamWorks were very like. Early DreamWorks stuff was very, like, satirical and trying to be the anti-Disney. So that actually makes a lot of sense <laughs> that DreamWorks would do that. Like, it kept the spirit, it was just, you know, delivered in more of a kid-friendly tone. Huh. And again, Ben Folds did the soundtrack, which is just... <laughs> I don't know, like... I don't even know what genre to describe his stuff as. I guess indie rock? But again, I don't know if he actually counts as... I, I'm not a music person. 
if it wasn't obvious enough. Anyway, we need to go into one of these hives. We're going to be going through all of the hives, but one of these hives has a unique uh, hive lord that we need to kill. For a unique item. And we will have cleared out Enmerkar, as far as the wiki list I saw is concerned. Let's go ahead and pop... I think I'm fine just drinking that. And... I don't have the defense potion. Oh well. I mean, it's... Hive lords and living hives. It's no big deal here. Oh, what the heck? It's very bright. Ah! Okay. I was going to be angry. Oh, wait, that's just a living eye. commented on it, but this is a cool interpretation of, like, zombie enemies. I can make so many goddamn sandwiches. The scariest thing in Resident Evil 2 is the burger at the start. Why is it so photorealistic? God, I remember the freaking trailer for the RE2 remake. It was like a point of view for a rat, and I was just like, oh, a stealth game where you're a rat. That's a novel premise. I'm into it. This was before I was really into the Resident Evil games. So, so. Oh crap, did I attract the ire of the uh, toxic hive lord? No, just a regular hive lord it looks like. Actually, no, he's got stuff growing on him, so he might be at uh, my mark. Then again, he didn't inflict poison on hit. I genuinely am not sure. Yeah, no, this is not the guy. Plain old ornate chest. I don't know why I said plain old. That these are really good usually. Plate armor. Miasma pods. Predator bones. Silver. And a marble halberd. The marble armor weapons are actually really good physical weapons. I just am beyond the desire for pure physical weapons. Yeah, regular hive lord. Drop some copal. Is that anything like copium? the super fascists were mad that the super fascists lost the election to the regular fascists. It was fun to make fun of them, but... Oh, dang. They're messing this Hive Lord up. Oh, wait, no, the bees are killing them. No, that's not... I'm gonna finish them. Okay. 
Ooh, is a stagger enough? It is cool seeing enemies in fight like this. That's always a thing I love seeing in RPGs. <laughs> the game does not know how to deal with the physics sometimes. That's a lot of occult remains. Uh, that's back to Abrasaur. Uh, let me double check here. Toxic Hive Lord. Uh, found on the f in the forest hives. Oh wait, what? There are two exterior parts. Okay, so this is actually pro progress through the area. That's cool, it actually leads to a boss arena. For the toxic boy. Yeah, I do actually think we're gonna have time to go do the Soroborians after. Wait. What? I think I went into the wrong entrance, maybe? The northern marker is in between the two main entrances, southern marker needs more external area. The northern entrance. Where can find another small dungeon in the hives trap? Oh. I mean, there's also enemies in here in the hives trap, so let's clear it out, because occult remains are very nice to have. It's just, you know, this was not something I could handle early in the game. Now easily can. Ow. Stones. What's still mad at me? What's alive to be mad at me? Take arrows, take the seaweed. Take that stuff. I am very confused by the combat music. Um, okay. Do not understand combat music. Let's continue through here because I do want to clear Enmer Car today.
Yeah, apparently traps are like a super viable play style. Like, uh, Fluent, who I've mentioned a few times here, and in Age of Fear, the Free World. Um, by the way, check out Game God Fluent's channel. He's a friend of mine. He's really friggin' good at, like, tactical games, and is generally better at strategy stuff than I am. Um, where I guess I'm better at action games, which is kind of sad. That I'm better than someone? <laughs> um, oh, I think this is actually the way. Yeah. The yeah, point is, check out his channel. He's He just finished Age of Fear 3's Dryad campaign. He's doing Age of Fear 4 now. Uh, Himeko Satori. Um, which is apparently a really good tactical RPG. Tactical JRPG, it builds itself as. Um, Tortured Hearts or How I Save the Universe Again, which is apparently a very good RPG uh, created by the same guy who did the Tortured Hearts uh, games for Neverwinter Nights. Uh, Zoltan. I forget his last name. I mean, it's not just him, he does have a proper team. Uh, let's see, what else is he doing? He has a lot of stuff active right now. Um, he's trying out, uh, Tormented 12, which is an interesting RPG based on, like, the Torah. Oh, there he is, he's green. That's his attack. You're blue now, that's my attack. Yeah, it's like uh, specific stories from the Torah, but with fan like traditional old medieval fantasy flair. So like instead of like the tribes all being humans, it's like oh that's the wrong key. One of the tribes is like goblins. Um, I haven't watched that one myself just because. Uh, okay, you regenerate, which I guess is just a thing bosses do in general. To be fair. Okay, you know what? Okay, stuffed up based on... Overtly based on real religion. Tends to skeet me out. Although in fairness to this one, uh, the guy who made it is actually Jewish, I believe. I'm using a lot more healing on this guy than I expected. Although I have, like, no... I have... I actually have really good physical resistance. He's just... Re ungodly strong. And also, I forgot to bump up. He has so much stuff going, he does have some trouble juggling. Anyway, we get the World Edge Great Axe. 24 physical, 24 decay. This is very important for us. The Dusk Father's knowledge is eternal. Is This world is but one stop in his travel across the Great Void. So, confirmation, there are other worlds in the Outward Universe. Or at least, as far as the in-universe mysticism is concerned. Mysticism, uh, religion. Mysticism is a very specific thing. Um, okay. A little slow. 
very cool vault attack. It's the same no matter which way you swing it. Uh, let's drop two arrows and then transfer two potions. Perfect. And let's get back to Burr. Um, wow, we are going to be heading off. Wow, that's, that's an interesting decision to make. Do we go to Patricianese or do we go to... since we've been to the Chirisanees. Hmm. Well, I'll have to make that decision next time anyway. Or is it torture? Well, one of the two. Um, yeah, he, he almost strictly plays RPGs. I, he was playing Valheim, but I think he dropped off of that, which, you know, fair. It's not really his thing to begin with. The fact that he tried it out is kind of amazing <laughs> to me. Because I kind of... we, Me and him talk a lot. So I kind of, like accidentally influenced him into picking it up. I think he's really waiting for it to have more content additions since it's mechanically complete, just not content complete. Which is fair. But yeah. He does a variety of RPGs. But he tends to stay pretty strictly in that RPG realm. I think the the last non-RPG I remember him playing was GTA 5 a few years ago. I don't know why I'm talking about someone else. This is weird. I'm gonna stop. Uh, yeah, we're almost done clearing stuff out of the main game that I care about. I do wish that there was, like, a, a super expensive proper fast travel system, like being able to travel. Choose to travel to a city you want to for, like, 200, 300 silver instead of the whims of... RNG, like, oh, do I find a caravan out here, and are they going to the place I want to go? Just because of late game cleanup stuff, you know? Yeah, I really can't. I think I'm gonna go to the Chersonese next, actually. Because, uh, one, it's been a while since we've been there, and two, I don't think there's a... I mean, technically there are super bosses in every area, but I don't think that there's any, like, pre-post-game super bosses there. So we can then go to the marsh and wrap up by killing uh, the Light Bearer. What, I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this World Edge Great Axe when I fight the Light Bearer. Because, you know, Decay damage is the opposite of lightning damage. It 
It's weird when the music cuts out. Buy my shit. Actually, no, I want to keep those. I'm going to sell the copals. Monostones, that, uh, that, uh, those, 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 those. And you don't have any friggin' bread. So I'm gonna make a bunch of alpha sand sandwiches. Anything restock that I care about? No. Give me all the bread you got. Uh, no life potions in stock. Okay. So next time when Let's Play Outward finally return home to the Chersonese for the first time since we left. See you guys then.